Within Autodesk Revit, it already has uniform classifications already defined. You can find these default uniform classifications in your C drive, program data, Autodesk, the Revit version, go to libraries, and then go to US Imperial. Here you can find your uniform at classifications.txt. If you were to open up this txt file, you will see all of its default uniform at classifications. If you want to replace any one of these classifications with your own classification from your own custom database, well, what you can do is you can select all, delete, and then come over to your custom database. Here, you want to make sure that you're going to select all of your rows of information from Uniformat, Construction Systems and Assemblies, the Level and Revit category. Highlight all the data that you want. Copy. Go back to your text file. and paste. Here it will keep all of the tab and spacing as default. Now I can save this and it will update my uniformat classification. You can also do this for OmniClass. Simply go back to your US Imperial database I'm going to go back to Revit 2019 and go to User Data Cache. Here you can find the OmniClass taxonomy. Open up that Excel spreadsheet. I apologize, open up that text file. And here it has all of your OmniClass information. Then you can update that by removing everything here. Coming over here to OmniClass Tables, any one of your tables, and using that information to update in your text file. Let's say that you want to keep the original text files, but also have your own custom database. Well, you can certainly do that. If we come back into Revit, into Revit, well, we can come right up here to Manage, Additional settings and go to assembly code. Here it's looking at that uniformat classifications.txt file. If I want it to be a different location, well, I could change it to absolute, relative, and then of course browse to that particular text file. This is a way so I can keep my own custom database separate from any sort of default libraries that Revit comes with.